so I'm coming to you with a sticker storage slash collection video. This is how I store all of my stickers, so let's get right into it. So first up is this box right here, which is a photo keeper, which I got from Target for $9.99. And in here, I'm gonna start from the back and work my way up. So in this orange bin here, I have stickers that I have made or printed out from my computer. So just to give you guys a little peek in here. I also show these in my plan with me's which I will link my playlist below my planner playlist. So I have Comcast in here, Raw, um, this here which says Song of the Week which is a Mombi printable, this water tracker which is from Wonderful. I feature that in my plan with me's a lot. So that's what's in there. Then in this blue one I keep my seasonal stickers. So I have this one which has dates on it. This is a movie one from Hobby Lobby and then I have all of these from Hobby Lobby. I have this graduation one which I used in June. Then I have this Thanksgiving one and I love these sheets from Hobby Lobby because it gives you two. Then I also have these Christmas tree ones. This one that says Merry Christmas. This set of presents and then this set of presents. And I did have to trim these down a little bit to get them to fit. So I just trimmed off the top and the bottom and the and a little bit of the edges to get them to fit in here. And I used that with my paper trimmer. Then I also have these 4th of July stickers. I'm not sure why I bought so much from Target, but that's that. So that's what's in the blue one. And now for my favorite one, which is the football one and in here I have these Steeler stickers which are from Katie Plans It. Um, I'll link where these are from because I really don't remember. Um, I also have another one from Katie Plans It. This one is from Oh Hello, Little Lullaby by Diana, this Pittsburgh one. This one is a set from Honey Bit Designs. I, this was a printable um, and then I have like these little circle ones here. This little banner I printed out myself. It's not a sticker, I just threw it in here. This is from the Paperly Boutique, Planner Heaven, and Sweet Rory's Addictions. Sweet Rory's Addictions. Rory's Sweet Addictions. So if you guys are looking for football stickers, um, Planner Heaven and Rory Sweet Addictions does have it. So like Planner Heaven has the footballs and Rory Sweet Addictions has the helmets. And then these are from Hobby Lobby as well and I just thought they were so cool. And on the bottom I just have more of that Honey Bit design set. So that is all for what is in here. This is like my favorite one and you guys are going to be so tired of me decorating for Steelers stuff. So get ready to see a lot of Steelers coming up in September. And I'm also going to be doing a Steelers theme um, for one of the preseason games. So be on the lookout for that. Then for these three in the front, these are my Etsy stickers. And in this one, I just keep... Um, they're, they have things on them, like I have this Hydrate one from Two Crafty Chicks. I have some Ice Pops in here. They're just like miscellaneous ones. And then here, like the ones that I would reach for more often, um, I have Bills to Pay from Sweet Kawaii Design, um, the Gas Sticker, Bill Do, um, Weekend Banners from Planner Kate. I keep all of those in here. I reach for these more often. And then these here are just like regular page flags and things of that nature. Like I have this one here from Oh Hello. I absolutely love her stickers. This from from Sweet Kawaii. I just did a plan with me using her banners. Absolutely love it. So that is all that is in here. So how I put them in here is that I put the page flags and then I put the miscellaneous ones and then I put the ones I use most often in the front. Now these are like the photo boxes. Sometimes it is a hassle for me to keep them closed. I put this one in upside down. So that's that, that's what's in here. Next up is this little pocket here. There's been plenty of these sold in the dollar spot at Target, but I had this one lying around my house 
And in here, I have more Etsy stickers. So all of these shops I've done an Etsy haul on, so I'll link the Etsy haul below for you guys to really see. But this is where I've been keeping a lot of my Etsy stickers. But I did want to show you a sticky monster because I haven't hauled her stuff. And I have YouTube, Instagram, Netflix, and PayPal. So that's from the Sticky Monster, and a Sticky Monster, excuse me. And her stickers are pretty inexpensive. So that's what's in the accordion folder here. I have had to trim some of them down to size to fit in here, such as the ones from Glam Planning, but I don't mind cutting the sticker sheet it's all about functional storage for me really so that is it for what is in the accordion okay so next up are my pencil boxes and this one I know for sure I got from Staples I'm pretty sure I either got this one from Target or Staples one of those but they were both a dollar so this yellow one this highlighter yellow one which I love this one just holds all of my labels so I have chalkboard labels in here these neon labels in here more chalkboard labels and stuff so these are from mostly from target and then the ones that i love oh so much that i use in like majority of my planner videos these are where's the cover so i can really show you guys okay these are the ones that i use these are from michael's the recollections line i absolutely love those so that is what is in this one and then in this one here i just keep sticker sheets I have this one which has ABCs on it that I got from a planner buddy. I also got this sheet from a planner buddy. Emoji, cute little emoji one. And then all of these sticko stickers I've got purchased either from Walmart or Five Below. And then I have these Apple ones which I got from a planner buddy and I know she got these from Target. And that's about it, just some other random ones at the bottom so I like storing them in here I could have stored them in the binder but that's all right this mini binder is from Target and the sheets that I have on the inside are from Staples they were like five dollars or so for a pack of 25 so you guys are getting a sneak peek into my Etsy haul this is Lily Henry stuff here and then I have Aaron Condon stuff here and then just some other random stickers so if I have smaller Etsy stickers, I will be putting them in my little accordion, but like other stickers and stuff, I'm still not too sure how I want to use this, but I had such an overflow that I needed an additional system. So that's what's in here. Then for all of those Michael sticker books that I have hauled, they are in these two notebooks. So first up is this Arc Jr. that has all of my Michael's sticker books. Like it just keeps going it going and the book is upside down i'm so funny so here is the michael sticker book and it just keeps going this is actually from the dollar tree this wrestling sticker book but i had this as um my old planner i'll link that post below to show you guys how i used it as a planner but i just wanted to have all of my sticker books in one place and this was perfect and then i started using this one which is actually my old um, planner cover from me and my big ideas and I just have happy Halloween in here and Spooky pumpkin and I have this go team one so I'll be doing a video on how I set this up So that'll be coming very very soon. I just have to edit that and that is so it. last but not least I also use post-it pockets and I purchased these from Staples as well so in this first post-it pocket I have my overflow of those Michael sticker books and then in these two, which I like to stick together, I just have some random stickers in here, some labels and things. And I like to put these in my planner. So these are good to put in your planner to bring on the go, stickers that you want to use frequently. So that's an option if you're interested. And these also come in a bigger size. They come in the eight and a half by 11 size. This is how I store my stickers. And I put all of these on my Ikea Rascog, which I will be doing a video on that as well. If you guys would like to see that video, give this video a thumbs up. If you guys would like to see how I created my disc bound sticker books, give this video a thumbs up. 
and I will get those out to you guys as soon as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave below a video or a comment on how you store your stickers because I'm always looking for new ways. But these were pretty affordable, especially these if you don't have anything else. These are really affordable. And the post-it pockets or reusing the um, pouches that you get from your Etsy stickers, you can always store your stickers in there as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Check out the blog chaoticcritic.wordpress.com for close-up pictures. Follow me on Instagram at chaoticcritic and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!